Thank you for joining us in this session of the world of electrification and automation. I am Michaela Mönikes and my next speaker here in the studio is my dear colleague Dominic Dietrich. And Dominic will talk about totally integrated power and CIMARES planning tools. He will show the holistic planning of electrical power distribution. And please, post your questions to, Do to Dominic at any time during his presentation. We will answer them live at the end of the presentation in our dedicated Q&A session. I will then read your questions to Dominic and we'll see what he will answer. Please make intensive use of this possibility because the expert is here just for you to answer your questions. Yes, we do record the session and yes, you will get access to the recording. Dominic, I think you want to focus on holistic planning of electrical power distribution and our auditorium is hopefully curious about totally integrated power and the CIMARES planning tools. Dominic, the stage is yours. Thank you. Hello and welcome to our virtual booth of Totally Integrated Power. My name is Dominic Dietrich and I'm the head of our CIMARES planning tools. I want to start with a statement from an electrical planner. My day only has 24 hours, which means I haven't got the time to look into every bit of technology that comes along. My designs are primarily software supported and my most important equipment is planning and configuration tools. At Totally Integrated Power, we support electrical designers in different planning stages in finding holistic solutions for infrastructure, building and industrial applications. It starts by finding a concept which is followed by the tool-based creation of single lines and front views. The programs also support the selectivity assessment and the creation of 3D data for the building information modeling process. The BIM process is supported by the planning tools in the CIMARA suite. Totally integrated power and the CIMARA planning tools support a portfolio starting with the medium voltage switch gear through the distribution transformers and bus bar trunking systems to the low voltage switch boards and distribution boards. This overview of the supported portfolio shows that TIP supports both the planning of power distribution of industrial plants and infrastructure projects. It includes the medium voltage systems, including CProtec, Rayroll and CCOM devices for protection power quality and automation, the distribution transformers and the bus bar trunking systems, just like the low voltage switch gear with Centron and Sirius protection and measuring devices, the charging units, frequency converters and software systems, such as Power Manager, NX Power Monitor or Simulus Control complete the portfolio. In order, to best support the portfolio, TIP offers the following. With a professional consulting by our experienced technical specialists in many countries and with our CIMARES planning tools for dimensioning and determining equipment and distributing systems. Furthermore, we offer rabbit files for building information modeling and tender specification texts. A totally integrated power, we also support with technical documents providing conceptual examples and estimations. Finally, we also run trainings and practice-oriented workshops for electrical planners on all aspects of planning and integrated power distribution. Do we know who to contact if you have questions about the CIMARES planning tools or a project? Here you will find an overview of the countries with TIP consultant support. They will help you with new systems, extensions, or entire solutions if you need support. Or our center of competence in the headquarters is also available for you. You can find your local contact via the link here at the website. But if you want, you can work with the tools independently first 
the following tools are available for you. Cimara's design for network calculation and dimensioning, Cimara's project for determining the space requirements of distribution boards and the budget, and for generating specifications. Cimara's curves for visualizing characteristic tripping curves, as well as lead through current and lead through energy curves. Cimara's busbar plan for BIM compliance 3D planning of busbar trunking systems. The Cimara suite is the platform for unitary access to all Cimara's planning tools. The last slide shows how the totally how totally integrated power and the Simaris planning tools support the planning of the power distribution. Starting with the manuals for the basic data, the electrical design with Simaris design, and the pre-planning tender specification and 3D models with Simaris project. The whole process is correct, fast, easy, and reliable and efficient, thanks to the tools. To show that this is really the case, I would like to show you the whole thing live with the tools. So, so at first, to, if you want to have access to our tools, you have to download our Simara suite. There, you have access to the latest news concerning uh, the planning, the electrical power distribution. You have access to different uh, topics like contact partners, uh, plugins for BIM, and other uh, support documents. But today we want to focus on our tools. So at first, we want to start with Simara's design. I already opened the program to speed up a bit. So there you have the possibility to create a new project, open an existing project, open the demo project or the tutorial. We want to create an own project today. So we start the project with the name called Trade Fair. Oh, sorry. <laughs> so I started again. The project is called Trade Fair and it has a short name which is world of EA. So within, within the next step, we can set the parameters for the medium voltage uh, level. So we have a nominal voltage of 10 kilovolt, a maximum uh, short circuit power of 300 meg, uh, MVA and a minimum short circuit power of 150 uh, MVA. Within the next step, we set the parameters for the low voltage level, here we have the common voltage for Europe, 400 volts and 50 hertz uh, for the frequency. The other parameters we can leave as they are pre-selected for today. After I press finish, I come to directly to my network plan. I can go back to project definition where I can uh, change or edit everything we have selected earlier. But now we want to start to create our network. Therefore, I have to open the library. And there, I have to decide what kind of infeed I want to have. I want to start with a transformer. This, after you click to the transformer, you can place it wherever you want with another click on the left mouse button. And then you are forced to enter some data. Some of the values are pre-selected and some have to be entered by the customer or by you. So. At first, we need the length of the medium voltage cable. This will be 15 meters. And then you can change also system configuration or type of connection. This we will do today. Like we had in the presentation earlier, something about busbar trunking system. We will use this for the con connection of the transformer with the uh, main, volt uh, main switchboard for the low voltage. And again, we have to enter length, 15 meters and we use the circuit breaker, which is pre-selected. You could do the same again, or just click right, click to the uh, first infeed, and right click somewhere, and select paste, and add another transformer for the infeed. So then by clicking to this small symbol, you can extend the length of the switchboard and add a coupling to add another source all the time. 
was a bit too fast. And you have to wait until somewhere a uh, yellow rectangle appears. And then you have to move this mouse somewhere and release the mouse button. Then you come to the next step. And again, you will see a window like this where you can select the type of switching device. In this case, I want to select a non-automatic circuit breaker. Within the next step, I have to select this type of source. There, I would like to select the generator. And if I press next, I have to enter the length of the cable, in this case, 30 meters. And now my infeed is completed. Now I want to add a sub-distribution board to place there some loads. So again, I wait until uh, left, a yellow rectangle appears somewhere, and then I move it somewhere else. And if I release the button, I again get a small window where I'm forced to enter some values for the sub-distribution board. In this case, only the length of the cable is necessary. So I place it here. And now I can also place another switch board, but for the presentation, it's enough to place there some loads. So we want to start with a dummy load, which is a replacement of all other loads which are connected uh, to the switch board, in this case with 450 amps. And then additionally, I want to add a motor feeder with a length of 15 meters and a power of 15 kilowatt. In the next step, we have the possibility to select the type of starter combination, like direct starter, star delta, or soft starter. For us, it's OK with a direct starter. Then press Finish. Then we'll find the solution here. And an, an, another topic which comes more and more important is the charging of electrical vehicles. So we add another charging unit. For, so similar, just have to enter the length of the cable, which is 15 meters, and press finish. Then I have added the pre-selected one. So for the next distribution board, I want to add a bus bar trunking system, very similar, um, where I have to find a rectangle, a yellow one, and then I can place it somewhere. Therefore, I have to put in the length of the cable for the infeed to the bus bar trunking system, which is 10 meters in this case. And then I have to select the bus bar trunking system, where we have a long list of bus bar trunking systems. If you're not familiar with the list, you can press one of the information buttons next to the combo box, and then you find more information of the different systems. So in this case, I want to select a LIA system with a length of 100 meters. And then extend the lengths, place some loads there again. One at after 10 meters of the bus bar trunking systems with 10 meter cable and a load of 100 amps. Another dummy load in the middle of the bus bar trunking system for the replacement of all other all other loads with again. 450 amps and another load at the end of the bus bar trunking system to get also information about the voltage drop at the end of the bus bar trunking system. 5 meters, 150 amps. Yes, so that's enough for this. And then I want to add uh, emergency power supply board at the generator where we have a length of 80 meters. In this case, I don't want to use circuit breakers to show that we can also use different types of switching devices, for example, switch disconnector with fuse, and for the infeed at the sub distribution board, switch disconnector, and then press finish. And afterwards, we need again a dummy load for all the connected loads with 250 amps. And a socket outlet, as example here, with uh, 10 meters 
And in this case, I just want to show that you also can add the quantity of uh, the subdistribution uh, the loads. So in this case, I have selected three times. Then also here, you will have the number of uh, so, uh, of circuits three times. So now I have created the whole network I wanted to create, but you don't have information about circuit breaker. Cable sizes are quite small. How can I now select all the devices? If you press the green button the first time, it tells you that first that you have to select operating modes. So we have to select one. The first one is transformer one and transformer two. So both transformers are working in parallel. The second one is only tr transformer one. The third one is only transformer two. And the third one is the generator. Okay. So, so if I now press again the green button, all the devices in the network will be selected automatically. It takes some time, but all uh, switching devices will be replaced by Siemens devices which you really can order. It takes some time. So now it's finished. So if we get a closer look, you can see here it's a model case circuit breaker with 630 amps, which is pre-selected and a fitting cable is here also selected. If you now think about, well, it's quite a lot of cables and a big, a huge one, can I also use a smaller one? Can do a double click, change the size of the cable to the smaller one and press enter. And then Simaris design automatically proves if this solution is possible. In this case, you get an error message at the bottom so that you cannot you, uh, use cables like this. So also if you uh, do your own, uh, or you want to rebuild your own um, feelings or your own network, Simaris Design checks if everything works fine. So in this case, I want to, I have to uh, release the, the lock, which means that the automatic dimensioning is not activated for this um, device and I can redimension the network and then the message are gone and the cables again has again the same size at the beginning. What else can I do with uh, the um, professional version which has a nominal charge of 1,800 euros? Um, you can additionally check the selectivity so just want to add a change the operation mode. So if I do just two clicks, my whole network is fully selective. So also in hospitals and other areas, there you have to prove fully selectivity, full selectivity. And this can be done with a few clicks and you have the whole information within one uh, piece of paper. So now we are at the point to um, export some stuff. So now you have different options for the output. You can create a project documentation where most of all the other uh, documents are included. You can crea uh, create some Excel outputs with a detailed information, or for example, you can also create a Simaris exchange file, which we can use later to import into the Simaris project. So, until everything is generated, I can wait a second. So, so here I just created the output. I can find lots of information like channel project data. Oh. No. That's it. Yeah. So, here are we are again. Can f find information about the operating modes. And also, for example, a list of a load list where you find information which loads you have considered in your uh, calculation. You also get an output of your um, single line diagram with the colors for the selectivity. And now um, our um, 
project is finished so that we can transfer all the stuff to Simaris project. Within Simaris project, you can find more information about all our systems and also get information about space requirements and budget. For this, you can create a new project like we've done earlier with Simaris Design, or you can import from Simaris Design. So the stuff we automatically selected within Simaris Design based on the network and the inputs we did, or you can import from Simaris Busbar Plan, which is the 3D planning tool for busbar trunking systems. You can open an existing project, or you can open the demo project. I want to show you what it's the solution if you import from Simaris Design, but this takes a bit longer, so I prepared it earlier so that we don't waste the time here by waiting um, until everything is placed. All the devices which we have selected in Simaris Design earlier are placed in the right systems based on the solutions we had for, uh, based on the calculation results we had for uh, short circuit currents and load flow currents earlier. So now it's almost finished. So, so now we can go on. So now we fi can find here more detailed information about the stuff we selected in Simaris Design. So in Simaris Design, we selected two infeeds with a circuit breaker on the medium voltage level. These are these two circuit breakers. Additionally, Simaris project adds the, uh, the cubicles, which you need additionally, because Simaris design does not do the calculations on the medium low voltage level at the moment. So this is automatically added with, for a typical solution. Now, if you think, yeah, perhaps I will add a third transformer. You can also uh, work here in Simaris project directly. Just select a cubicle on the left and place it somewhere in the switch pod, then we now have a third circuit breaker panel, which can be connected to a third uh, transformer. Similar stuff we can do for our low voltage switch pod. Oh, sorry, selected the wrong one. I want to select this one. There, yeah, we have a list of circuit breakers, which we have, uh, which have been selected automatically in Simaris design. Now we have a view like this, um, but we can also jump to the front view, which shows you how the switchboard will look and how are the dimensions of the switchboard. Now we have two options to work. One option is that we say, yeah, I need an additional circuit breaker. Oh, sorry. Oh, so switch this connector where I added another one. Then go back to uh, the front view. Then there will be a rebuild in the background of all the um, cubicles and the edit device will be um, also displayed in the front view after some seconds. So yeah, here we have now two devices. Earlier it only has been one, but we also can add uh, cubicles here. So just do it via drag and drop here. For example, uh, compensation. For the compensation, we can add something and place it here, just via drag and drop. And then it's also considered everywhere. One last thing for a system planning for bus bar training system. There you get a list of devices and also the type of units will be considered automatically based on the inputs in Simaris design. So if you now have a contact partner at Siemens, um, you have the possibility to share the project file with your contact partner and then he can automatically create your budget price of all the devices. So he don't have to rebuild every or re-enter all the information you have entered before. He just uses your file and then gets all the information like you can see here and can share this information with you if you need it. For project output, we have several options for Simaris project. We can uh, create two, 2D views. We can create reports for the calculation results 
uh, for the budget results, we can create tender specification tags, or we can create uh, IFC files for the 3D planning. So to do this, I select the medium voltage distribution board and the um, low voltage main distribution board. And therefore I want to create the 3D files. And I also want to create a 2D files. Takes some time. So now with the integrated uh, viewer, you can view the, the, these files. You don't need a special program. So we have a cover sheet with some information about the medium voltage switch board. This is here. You have a front view of the medium voltage and a top view of the medium voltage switch board and the same for the low voltage switch board. But m now it gets more and more common to plan in 3D. So here I have prepared a small model of a house where you find a small plant and a small office building and all the devices like transformer, um, low voltage switchboard and generator and uh, distribution stuff. So, but now with our plugin for Revit, I also can enter all the information we had earlier created within Simaris project directly into the 3D data a 3D program with all the information uh, connected to the switchboard and like a configured model, which is really possible to order. So, take some time. Yeah, perhaps, uh, uh, now it worked. <laughs> so, he, for example, here uh, it's placed at the top floor, but I also can move it somewhere else. So I can move it to this room. This is our medium voltage uh, main distribution board, like we had earlier. And this is our low voltage board. I also can put it here. And you also have information on this. So it can be considered in the 3D model. And with our new plugin for Simaris Busbar Plan, you could now also uh, draw this uh, the Busbar Trunking System, which connects, um, for example, a transformer with a low voltage switch board, which you can see here. This can be done with the plugin directly here in the program, and then it is connected like we did, uh, like we designed in Simaris Design. Last but not least. Um, we also offer specification texts, which can be created automatically here. And then I just do it in Word, but it can be also exported as XML file to import in special programs. And therefore find configured texts for all the systems uh, which are available in Simara's project. So there you have no text with lots of information and which can be used later for the specification of the system. So I hope you now have an overview how easy and fast it can be to uh, design your network and uh, pl uh, plan your systems with the Simaris planning tools. And I hope you enjoyed it. Thank you, Dominic. The, this 3D view was impressive. We should have had that while we were building our house because then we wouldn't have met the water holes while we tried to install a plug for electricity. Um, <laughs> but, and we have some questions for okay. the audi from the auditorium. Um, I'm not sure if the first one really fits into the discussion right here, but nevertheless, I want to take the question because you are asked, sir, please explain any technical way or any way by which we distribute the power with minimum loss where pilferage of energy is much. 
I'm not sure if you know the vocabulary pill for it. Yeah, well, thinking about what it means. <laughs> yeah, it's, uh, it's, it's, theft, it's, the, it's theft of energy. So I think we talk here about networks which are cables above or lines above where people steal energy from the network. Um, I'm not sure if our planning tools here will help there. I, I think of different tools. I think about um, SCADA systems where we can at least monitor things like that. Um, I think the best way there might be to guide you to one of the experts and get into dialogue. This is a difficult question to answer right here in, in the time frame of this um, presentation. But if you visit the exhibition and press the Meet an Experts via Teams, um, button. Um, the colleagues might be able to help you if this might even be uh, compli more complicated questions to go in more detail and then we try to get you in contact with somebody to discuss that around. Now back to Simaris tools. The database inside Simaris includes information coming from several suppliers or is it Siemens oriented only? As the general version is free of charge, of course, there are only Siemens um, devices inside. It's a tool to promote the Siemens solution and select a solution which fits best to the Siemens devices. Okay, so you already mentioned free of charge. So yes, MVP, the software is free of charge uh, to try. Um, how can they get it? They easily get to www www.siemens.com slash Simaris, they can download the Simaris suite and with the access to Simaris suite, they can uh, install the tools automatically. Cool. Yeah, that's easy. Siemens.com slash Simaris, even I can remember. <laughs> and that's an interesting question. Is it possible to implement Simaris platform as local SCADA for substation? I don't think so, uh, because <laughs> Simaris is uh, developed to work uh, to help the electrical planners during this uh, planning stage. And I think for SCADA systems, you should use other tools. I think so. It sounds like planning, it, it's creation of a network, but I didn't see any communication um, information in there so that you have a living SCADA where you control your process. Um, I think we've learned about different solutions throughout this world of electrification and automation. Next question is, can Simaris perform coordination insulation study for high voltage air insulated substation? No, Simaris is at the moment mainly based on low voltage uh, solutions. So you only can do the selectivity or coordination study for low voltage devices. It just considers the infeed from the medium voltage oh, perspective. Okay. So it's, it's a partly yes, we do this coordination insulation study, but not for high voltage. Thank you. Let's continue um, with more questions. If the consumer is a motor, the, then let me get this as a question. Does the software, no, the software or does also the computation for startup and restart of the motors in order to define the proper cables and the rest of it, uh, of course, for motors without soft starters. You can consider the mm -hmm. startup current mm -hmm. for motors uh, within Simaris design. You can uh, set a factor for the a startup current for the motors if you don't use soft starters. Mm -hmm. Okay. And then I think you, you showed it a bit, but the, the question came up again. Can we design the place where we are going to be placed in 3D2? So these electrical connections be, between elements and placed it in 3Ds. Did I get this right? And the question. Yeah, yeah the newest models of our uh, 3D elements have uh, connectors for uh, the electrical connections within the 3D models. Then you can do it. 
cool. <laughs> that sounds definitely interesting to me. Maybe I should download it and go ahead and play around. And does Siemens provide assistance when I begin to work with Simaris, like for better understanding of using the software application Simaris? Yeah, there are some uh, videos on YouTube already available, which are also linked uh, at the booth. And also there is once a year a free of charge training, which uh, will you can find uh, shortly on our website. Cool. So we have training possibilities already, some nice tutorials available. G go ahead, play around and then join one of the free of charge trainings. Currently, I don't see any more questions in the row. Thanks for all the questions you already placed. Dominic, thank you for all your answers. If questions come to your mind later, please do not hesitate to contact us. We will get back to you. And as I already mentioned, we recorded the session and the recording will be made available to you. Now, I'm looking forward to see you in our last conference session. It's two days are gone like nothing. We will have Markus Wache and he will um, also present live how easy future protection engineering looks with IC61850 top down using Dixie. Thank you, Dominic, for joining here. Thank you for staying with us and taking a look into the Simaris planning tools. Take care and see you later. Thank you.